Alright, so I want to revisit a tutorial I did on Fancy Box, uh, which is like a light box replacement, only you can do it with video and some other things. Um, I've gotten a request from someone who was having some trouble getting it to work, and I went back and I looked at it and realized that I had changed the code completely and in the process of fixing it. So I want you to watch me as I fix his script and make it work uh, using the newer updated technique for using Fancy Box. So again, Fancy Box is where I click an image and then the YouTube video shows up and I can play it. Okay? Um, the old script had a click function and all that. The new script, uh, so here's the, here's the new script. Okay? And uh, you can go look at the old one if you want, but it had some other stuff to it. All you got to do for this script, <clears throat> okay, is make sure it's wrapped in a document.ready, of course, and then it will uh, grab the selector that you want and use the fancy box method on it, giving it these options, okay? Type Swift is the key here for video. The old way of doing it actually used some regex, and I believe he has my old code version in here. Uh, this is the script that he sent me. If we find. Uh, this. Okay, so here's kind of the old code. So I had a click event listener, and then I called the, the function by itself, and I had this, this awful regex in there, blah, 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 blah. I found a much better way. So first, let's go through his script and see why it's not working. So his is fancy test, right? So we're going to go in here and do fancy test html okay first thing in any debugging is open firebug and see what's up the first thing i notice here is that it says kufan is not defined okay so i know that there's some some object that he's trying to use that isn't here okay so let's first correct the error if we can so we'll go into the code and we'll go down i know that kufan is down here uh, it also says that it's on line 294 so i can come down here to line 294 and this has nothing to do with the tutorial with with getting fancy box so I'm just gonna comment these out I don't know what they are I don't know why they're here but I don't need them okay save and refresh okay so that works So let's go down to where we want this to work this demo reel so if I click it it takes me to YouTube so obviously that's not the effect that we want so uh, what's going on so the first thing we need to do is see uh, are our scripts that we need actually here for this video so to do that we go to our script tab and we drop this box down and we go okay let's see if our 1.3 pack is there okay and it says great it is there okay and then we'll go to our uh, fancy box 1.34 pack and oh this says not found okay so already our code for fancy box isn't found and then we go to let's check the mouse wheel also not found and then um, let's check jQuery jQuery is there so jQuery is there and our pack is there for this, but our fancy box and this isn't even there, and I don't care about the rest of these because they're not whatever they're not needed for whatever we're doing here. So, so that's it. okay. So we need to make sure these two are there. So let's go to those two up at the top of the page here. Go to the top of the page, and we see okay, fancy box. So the two that aren't here are this and this. Uh, now, if I go to my folder here, let me pull that up. Go to uh, htdocs testing down here spell testing and then fancy box okay so inside of my fancy box folder the scripts that I have are okay so he is using he the one that's missing okay so fancy box 1.3.4 dot pack so fancy box 1. Point, okay so I have 1.3.1 okay not 1.3 3.4. So I want I need to change this to point 0.1. And then the mouse wheel was the other one that wasn't working. And the, my mouse wheel is 3.0.2 and his is point 0.4. So he probably has a newer version. So this probably wasn't part of his problem, but it's part of mine right now to get this to work. So save that and refresh. Okay. And now if I choose, okay, so mouse wheel, check. 1.31 pack, check. Uh, that doesn't really matter and this check okay so our scripts are now there and just one more check to make sure console great so now we check if it works and it still doesn't work okay so that means that we have a problem with our click okay so let's go down to where uh, to where this is okay so here's where his script is so first thing we need to do well first thing we notice here okay is um, the spacing is off and in the first thing you really need to do with anything is just fix the spacing because it's really hard to tell what's going on so we need all this code to be spaced in one we need this to be spaced in one and we need this to be spaced in one okay so it looks like our structure is correct um, let's see if our click is actually being called well actually I see something right here 
see this right here? There's no selector for this jQuery element. It's using, it, it, whenever you select something without a dot or a pound sign, okay, it's saying select the tag, okay? He's actually using a tag selector here, and that would, that would, if this would select something that would be fancy YouTube, and obviously this tag does not exist in HTML, so he's missing the selector, okay? So let's go down to where he's using it, which is right here, and let's see what kind of uh, ID or class he's using. Uh, Ahref, uh, let's see, rel, and then there's the image. So he actually has no selector here. So let's go ahead and add an ID. Let's use this fancy YouTube that he had here, and say ID equals, and paste that, okay? Now we need to use the ID selector, and in order to use an ID selector in jQuery, you do pound, and then the selector. So now we should be selecting it. So just to check that we are actually selecting it, we'll console.log here. And that should console.log when I click. Okay? And if I refresh and I click, I still get taken away to YouTube. So it didn't even the return false didn't even work for one. Because when you click it's supposed to return false. So let's assume that there's a problem here, okay? And let's just comment that out so it's not involved. And so when you click this, it should log and then return false, meaning it shouldn't go anywhere, okay? So we'll refresh, and we should click, and it should say, and it doesn't. It actually takes us away again. So that means we're not even getting, that click isn't even being used, okay? So first huge problem, our click isn't even being used. So, and here's why. jQuery can't be used raw like this. It has to be wrapped inside of a document dot ready. Okay, so we need to wrap inside of a function like this. This is shortcut for document.ready. Don't forget that. Okay, and tab in and tab in one more time. Okay, now that we've wrapped all of our jQuery in a document.ready, let's go ahead and do our console.log when we click. And if I click now, now it doesn't go to the new page and it says here. Great. So now let's go ahead and put this stuff back in and see if it works. Save and refresh and click and still goes away which means whatever fancy box code he's using here is wrong and I'm just gonna delete it because it's not needed for what I'm doing here okay let's go back over to the new test and copy the, what we have here now notice there is no click event listener here at all none okay after the document dot ready it just does the code so I'm just gonna copy this code verbatim and I'll go through this in just a second which means I don't need the click so I'm gonna get rid of the click as well and paste it here and again, my selector needs to be correct, so it needs to be pound, okay? It needs to be pound, and then the selector that matches this. Now, what this does is it grabs the, grabs the item, calls the fancy box element, sets the transition, the padding, the scaling, the transition out, the width, the height, and type swift is most important for getting this to work. This will handle the click, okay? So if I save this and refresh the page now and click the video, the video attaches to the bottom of the page. Okay, so we're not there yet, but we're close. Uh, so that means that if the script is working, it means that the CSS is off. So let's go to the CSS for a second, and let's see if our fancy box CSS. Okay, well there's our problem. The, the CSS file isn't loaded at all. So let's go back to the top and see what we're looking for here. Um, so we're looking for fancy box 1.3.4 CSS and we have 1.3.1 so we need to change that 1.3.1 okay and now that the CSS is correct and let's test that CSS uh, and then drop this down and click that okay there's our CSS now that the CSS is correct and the JavaScript is correct this should there we go open the video right on our page and it is playable okay so that is how we fix this script uh, keep in mind the new changes that are made to the video so that uh, this is a much easier way of using the fancy box script than previously indicated